Using the Maclaurin series for the sine function, we want to approximate the value of sine of a half. And so for this, we're going to start by plugging in the value of a half for x. So we've got negative 1 to the n, 1 half to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And now we can start listing out a few terms. And let's do maybe three terms and see how that term works for us. So putting in n equals 0, we have negative 1 to the 0 uh, times 1 half to the 1 over plugging in 0 here, we get 1 factorial, uh, plus, now plugging in 1 for n, negative 1 to the 1, 1 half to the third over plugging in 1, 3 factorial, negative 1 squared times 1 half to the, plugging in 2 now, fifth over 5 factorial. And so let's evaluate that. So negative 1 to the 0 is positive 1 times a half over 1 is a half. So here I got negative 1 to the 1, that'll be negative. Uh, this will be 1 eighth. 3 factorial is 6, so bringing that in, we got a negative 1 over 48, right, the 6 times the 8 there, uh, with the negative. Here, negative 1 squared will be positive, again, here, half square, uh, sorry, 1 half to the 5th is 1 32nd, 5 factorial is 120, if I multiply those, I'll get... 1 over 38, 40 there. And if I add those together and do a decimal approximation, I come up with 0.4794271 about. Now, I used my calculator earlier to evaluate sine of a half and came up with 0.4794255 about. So this is using my calculator. Uh, and so it looks like we are pretty good accuracy up to the fifth decimal place. And so using only three terms of the Maclaurin series, we're getting a pretty good approximation for the sine function, uh, for the value of the sine function, just using polynomials.